the start at quarterback, second week in a row. He'll hand it off on first down and devoured immediately Joel Shaw, the senior out of Pittsburgh. Four-man pressure. Crum setting up the screen. Completes the pass. Adam Dolka. And a first down at the 40. So Reggie White's the best D-lineman I've coached. Derek Brown is number two. Another screen pass. Worked to perfection. And it's Shaw into Auburn territory. A four-man rush. Crum steps up. He'll run. And Crum able to move the chains. So Crum will throw. It's caught. Cavius Price inside the 10. Williams the tailback. Crum end zone. Incomplete intended for McCoy. Yard chip shot. And this one splits the uprights. And Bo Nix making his third career start. To the air to Eli Stove. And Stove across the 40. Whitlow up the gut. Breaking tackles. And Booby Whitlow powers across the 40-yard line. A gain of 11. He gets the call. No, it's Nix on the keeper. Nix. Showing some agility all the way to the 21. You saw him there scamper and pick up first down yardage. Nix keeps it again. Makes a nice move inside the five. Nix. Whitlow. Into the pile. Into the end zone. Under 50% completion through two games. You're absolutely right. And... Joey Gatewood into the game. We were told we'd see some of Joey Gatewood tonight. For blockers in Nye and Wilson. And Whitlow breaks the initial tackle. Booby Whitlow into Kent State territory. Still rumbling. The push-ups after he fumbled last year. Cam Martin off to the races. Touchdown, Auburn. He's here, and Cam Martin really, he just gets to the second level fast and furious as the offensive line clean. And passing and his decision making, and in addition to that, who are going to be the playmakers at the wide receiver position and the running back position? And they're starting to see players emerge. 50 plus catches, more than 500 yards. The Mayo Clinic comeback player of the year, Adam Dolka back again and the kids were so inspired by him he just kept coming back and kept coming back Isaiah McCoy isn't coming back a touchdown for Kent State 53 yards for McCoy who's looking to build off a career game a week ago ball and a blown coverage in the back end there's no one in the middle of the field and you see two safeties get hung up and caught up they're supposed to be a middle of the field to Whitlow into Kent State territory and he powers inside the 45 a gain of 17 on the ground and Whitlow torpedoes ahead for a first down play action Knicks wide open Sal Canella legs Knicks keeps angles in for six From chased, sacked, and they'll mark him down at the one-yard line. Marlon Davidson and Truesdale both got in there. Two plays he's made, and with the absence of Derrick Brown, he's taken over. Kent State showing blitz. Here it comes. Knicks sacked. Just the second time he's been sacked this season. And Mississippi State stock fell today, a home loss to Kansas State. Down goes Crum. Some points here headed in the half. They didn't seem to be in any hurry. And now Martin picks up the first down. Nix throws Stove again. So a touchdown here, and then you're looking at a chance to put the game away. Shivers in space. Breaking a tackle. Lowers the shoulder of first down at the 40. 
Malik Miller up the gut. First down. Knicks on third down. Drop the ball. And down he goes. Booby Whitlow turns up field. And he's over 100 yards rushing on the evening. First down, Malzahn was only looking for about four. Eli Stove with his fifth catch of the game. And he's into Kent State territory. Back. And it opens the, the perimeter up. Whitlow up the gut. And hammerheads across the 35. For him to throw that football. Nick standing in the pocket. Completes near side. Anthony Schwartz, first catch of the season. Whitlow, up the middle, open sesame, touchdown, Auburn. The execution up front. Once again, great read there from Knicks. That's what started it. Going to be in pain again. He was just winded after that first series. First down completion on the far side. To connect on. Four-man rush from... Setting up the screen. And reaching for the first down marker, Joel L. Shaw. That's defensive line. He has not come into the game after leaving in the first quarter. A first down run by Joel Shaw. And they've made him pay. Crum under pressure. Gets away. And picks up a first down with his legs. Crum under pressure. Sacked by Davidson without Derrick Brown. They haven't heated up the pocket like Kevin still is known for, but when you've got four talented players, and we've got to be able to seal that interception and take away points. Now that might have been the first blitz we've seen. Trickett's kick, no good from 39. Gatewood, quarterback run. It sets up third and short. <laughs> Nix to Martin, flea flicker, back to Nix, stove wide open, touchdown Tigers! Here's what they saw, these safeties are coming downhill, watch how they commit themselves to the run, they forget about the pass, and if you're Kenny Dillingham sitting up... Excellent throw. Hastings with the first down. Will Hastings. And kudos to him for listening and being willing to, to accept. They'll keep it on the ground. This is Shivers in space where he's so dangerous. And he takes it for a gain of 27. Martin motions. Gatewood keeps. And tripped up in the backfield. Carlson makes the field goal. <laughs> Shoestring tackle, nonetheless, it worked. True freshman defensive end. Now, there is depth there as Kent State picks up the first down. Up and maintain a level of play. Barrett rolling right. Laser, and he completes to Antoine Dixon. I'll come back to that after this play. <laughs> Barrett pumps, end zone. Touchdown, Cavius Price. Figure out how to merge those two emotions. Along with that, he's also the guardian of Shelly and Rod's two kids. Gatewood quarterback keeper. And that backup quarterback role is as, as important as any role on the football team. Gatewood fakes the throw. Hurdles a defender tripped up inside the 10. Do not listen to the outside noise. Gatewood will keep. Has an angle and has an Auburn touchdown. Former head coach of Buffalo making headlines. All right, so I'm going to put you. His size at 6'4". He gets it again from Gatewood. And a first down for Joyner. And a find where he fits best in this offense. Gatewood keeps. First down and more, and out of bounds is inside the 30. Gatewood, nice shake, 
inside the 10 and out of bounds first and goal out of the five and you will yourself into the end zone Matthew Hill in motion Gatewood gets the block from Hill to seal the corner Joey Gatewood gets over 100 yards he's in the end zone the Tigers will be tested now they will call one more play and that takes us to the final horn Auburn tonight did what a top 10 team is supposed to. Indeed. 55-16 against Kent State. 